there everyone and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another wild and crazy orchid adventure with me Maria Young. Okay so I'm just getting home and I was inspecting my orchids and I did come up with some very wonderful surprises for you today and I definitely wanted to share these surprises with you. But before we begin, I wanted to show you a definite, I don't know about wonderful, but it was quite a surprise. Okay, folks, so here I was just minding my own business, inspecting my orchids, and all of a sudden I came across something very peculiar. Do -do -do -do. Ah, do you see what I see, folks? Oh my goodness. If you guys were here to witness the size on this thing, oh my. Folks, you may think I am exaggerating, but no, I am not. This froggy woggy, toady woady, whatever it is, is Humonga Dunga. Yeah, this guy is a pretty big fella. And folks, no, he's not even afraid. Not one bit. I think I am more afraid of it than it is of me. Let's see how close I can get. Yeah, pretty close guys. He is not afraid at all. All right, that's enough because if he hopped on me, oh my gosh, I'd probably fall to the ground in complete convulsions and yeah, not a pretty sight. So yeah, I'll keep that one to myself. Okay, folks, and speaking of Humonga Dunga, I know you guys remember this cat layer right here that I got, um, I would say about like five months ago, maybe? Yeah, I had gotten her at an estate sale for simply five buckaroos, and she was a monster cat back then, and she has even grown more in size, folks. And if you guys can remember, she's actually in that wire container in there. Let's see, right there. And she's actually bare rooted. I just put her in that pot just so that I could kind of hold her up so you guys can see the magnitude of size that is on this gal. Yeah, she is just so precious and I am so proud of her. Now, the only thing I was very disappointed about because she did quite grow in size, I would say, Perhaps she has about 15 new growths on her. The very unfortunate thing though, folks, is although she has grown in size, she did not display any buds at all. Yeah, boo hoo hoo on me. Now, what I decided to do is perhaps maybe in the next season, I would go ahead and fertilize her like extremely with some bloom boosters, like give it to her steroid style, folks, because I really, just want her to bloom, bloom, bloom. So I'm not too upset. She did grow in size, so next season, I hope she will be healthy enough to go ahead and give us some blooms because I don't even know what kind of orchid she is other than she is a cat Leia. So until I get some blooms from her, only then will I get to compare and perhaps find something similar to what she is. Now folks, today I did say I was gonna give you some surprises, right? Yay, I have a surprise with this cat Leia and I do wanna show you. Okay folks. Uh, I kind of forgot where it's at, so I'm gonna have to kind of look through here and trying to find it. So hold that thought, folks. Oh my gosh, what a monster! Okay, folks, I think I have found it. Da -da -da -da. Right there, folks. Can you see it? Let's get a close up and let's go ahead and uh, bring up that lighting here. Okay, so there it is. There it is, folks. This appears to be the first fruits <laughs> or the first buds of this cat Leia. And I don't know if you can see this, but right there, it seems to have its first little teeny weeny bud coming out of there. So I am assuming that this will grow in a cluster here. And because it has color on the sheath or the middle part of where the blossoms are going to come from. I'm assuming that this is also going to have that same color. That fuchsia, magenta, purplish kind of color. 
So indeed, I am very, very excited to see what she will look like. So wonderful, wonderful surprise. Yay, us! And soon and very soon, hopefully, we will finally get to find out what this monster cat is all about. What do you say, folks? What do you say? And if you guys don't know the story of this monster, Cat Leia, please check out my video. I'll put it in the description. It was so crazy how I found this. And again, this is all bare rooted in nothing but a wire container. It's not even in this pot right here. I just put it in there to display it. But the roots on this thing is so massive and so crazy. So if you don't know the story, be sure to check it out. Wonderful, delightful story on how I found this $5 monster of a cat right here. Yeah, wonderful find. One of the best finds ever, 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 ever. Okay, folks, and I have such another wonderful surprise here. This is my Dendrobium Blue Twinkle, which I hadn't shown in a while. I've had this little guy for about like, uh, I want to say about five months. And it really did not do anything after it did bloom that spike. So, yeah, I was a little bit downhearted, didn't know what was going on with it. But guess what? Today, I discovered a surprise. And that surprise is where this old spike is growing, right here. If we take a close, very, very close look, now you are beginning to see a little spike coming out again. Yes, how awesome is that? So, a second spike right here on this same cane. So, absolutely awesome and very happy about this good news. Now this particular cane right here has never budded or bloomed for me so this is quite a pleasant surprise. There you see it. You see that purple little spike right here. Yep, it's starting to create its blooming buds. Yay! Very happy. And folks here is one other surprise. Yes, one more guys. I am just absolutely thrilled. If we take a close look right here, guys, can you see that? Yep, right there. There is also a spike coming from inside of this leaf area. So how awesome is that? A total of three spikes will be coming from this plant right here. So I'm very, very excited. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned for more because this blooms such a gorgeous bluish purple blossom. Well, a cluster of like a foxtail blossom. That's the formation it gives and it's just absolutely stunning. Oh, and let me not forget there was one other little surprise here. Can you see that guys? This is actually an old cane right here. And look here folks. It is growing another little baby dendrobium right here. So how awesome is that? Like totally, duh. And this right here, folks, is my Nadosa crossed with a Digbiana right here. And this is my Gemini Cricket. And as you guys can see, there is also a sheath right here about to come into bloom. So very excited. This will be my first bloom off of my Nadosas. Yay! And folks, here's another pleasant surprise. This is my BLC Hawaiian Stars right here. And look here, folks. Do you see that? Do you see what I see? Indeed, it is a cluster that's growing here. And it's going to be a nice cluster of Hawaiian Star Catlea. Very, very happy, folks. And look at here, look at here, folks. This is a Vanda that I purchased, I wanna say about like three or four months ago. And back then she was in bloom, and guess what? She is now in bloom yet again. How exciting, folks. How exciting is that? You already know the answer. Like, totally, duh. And this right here, folks, is a rather wild and crazy looking orchid. Indeed, it looks like it's much like grass, really. I mean, yeah, you can very well see this growing in your yard and just pull it out thinking it's either grass or weed, right? Well, this is actually a bamboo orchid. And I've been able to receive some babies from this orchid. They grow right at the tip. 
and at first I thought it was a bud, but no, I had two actual new growths of a keiki growing right at the tip, which I will show you where they are now. There they are. That's these little guys right here. Here's one of them at least, and one's hiding somewhere. Or, yeah, maybe this is him now, because they grow really, really fast. Yeah, so these two were the keikis, and I imagine that I just would not get any types of bloom off of this this year because I just didn't ever find any. And upon closer inspection, folks, as we move on up, we will begin to see the spike right there. How totally awesome is that? And as you can see, this one in particular looks like it's having about, I would say, three or four buds. And if we look close into the buds, you will see that deep magenta purplish color right there. So I'm imagining that this could perhaps be a bloom of white and magenta. Should be very, very beautiful. And even though this plant could possibly be mistaken for either grass or even weeds, the actual blossom itself is something so amazing because the blooms actually will end up looking like Cattleya blooms. So I am very, very excited to see this bamboo orchid bloom for us. How about you guys? Are you guys excited? And you guys remember my Cochleata orchid, right? Well, guess what I did? Yeah, I happened to accidentally break the spike. So no more blooms for this little gal. But surprisingly, you guys see these two new growths right there, right? Well, this one in particular, look at this little midget right here. It is like half the size of what the normal pseudobulb would be. But if you take a close look right here, this is the sheath. That is not a leaf, guys. That is a sheath beginning to grow. So indeed, what amazing little stunt this gal is performing. So I am so happy and can't wait to see her in bloom again. And this right here is my monster dendrobium. And as you guys can see, there's also a little spike that's growing from there as well. So, so happy to see her finally again coming into bloom. And here you see a humonga dunga frog. But if you take an even closer look, you're actually looking at a Cycopsis bud as well. So indeed, my Cycopsis will be in bloom again. yippee yay yay And if you look throughout my Cattleyas, you will find some sheaths here and there and everywhere. So indeed, my Cattleyas are still trying to bloom. Okay, folks, and I'm very excited to announce that this other Vanda that I got, also around the same time as the other, about three months ago, also in bloom, folks. If we take a close look, I want to show you another surprise. Okay, folks, here we are. Do you see what I see? Indeed, another spike coming off of this Vanda. And surprise, surprise, if we look on the other side, folks, Yes, indeed, yet another spike coming off of the other side of the Vanda. So this actually has two spikes right there coming along. Oh my, this is going to be such a delight to see both of these spikes in bloom. Wowee! And you guys already know, right, that I have such a wild jungle of radican orchids. Well, look here, folks. They are beginning to spike again. Yeah, they are like forever blooming. Indeed, folks, those are some of the pleasant surprises that are going on in my garden. And I am so ecstatic because, again, I told you guys, I didn't get that many blooms. So to find that they are continuing to still produce just makes me so very happy. For indeed, we want to continue to live, grow, and blossom, right? And that includes these little orchids right here. Continue to bloom or else. And here we are, folks, my bamboo orchid, now in bloom. And this beautiful orchid right here is also known as the Arundina graminifolia. And indeed, it is called the bamboo orchid 
because as you see here the foliage definitely emulates just that definitely a beautiful blossom and you can see where she can be mistaken for a cattleya bloom what a beauty right here the bamboo orchid okay folks and here she is this is my vanda that was once in bud and as you can see it's been about a week now and she is coming into full bloom here in a little bit and as you can see folks she is quite a gorgeous gal this princess Mikasa right here now this stunning vanda not only gives us an eye full of her beautifully huge tessellated blooms but she, in total, will be blooming 11 blossoms. So indeed, she is quite the firecracker when it comes to these beautiful blooms. And she, indeed, is quite a dynamite bloomer. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another wild orchid adventure with me, Maria Young. And if you want to stay tuned to the latest and greatest news about my orchid garden, please be sure to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook at My Orchid Adventures. And if you want to contact me via snail mail, please be sure to do so at the address provided right here. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and please stay tuned for more.